Hey y'all. We are running a little behind, which is pretty common. But uh, really just now trying to get some of the mechanicals of the greenhouse number two dialed in. And as you can see, uh, she's pretty well full. And you'll notice the absence of pots hanging in the ceiling. And that's because we have not put pot drippers up yet. That is on the docket for today. Also on the docket for today is I have to get overhead irrigation hooked up and test it and make sure that everything's gonna jive and we ain't got no sprinklers blowed apart or uh, anything stopped up because I don't wanna find that out at three o'clock in the morning a couple nights from now standing here in shorts and a t-shirt and it's hard to believe that a couple nights from now it's supposed to be 28 degrees um, but this will be my first year of frost protecting with the irrigation so I'm sure there's a steep learning curve but um, anyway we're going to give it a go but right now I'm trying to get this uh, little mechanical area of the greenhouse right here dialed in i guess the way to put it is if you start right you end right so i'm trying to get this the way i want it <clears throat> and i'm going to mount all of the half inch hose on here kind of like a manifold setup where you can turn on each individual run of drippers so we're going to start from here and then plumb it up to where it goes down the purlins through the greenhouse so i want to really get this done before i start running dripper hose holly and the kids are down here finishing up putting some hangers on baskets we just about got all the hangers on um i'm not really sure how many hanging baskets we got over here but it's a bunch it's gonna be the ceiling will be full when we get them get them all hung what i'm trying to do is make a uh, a bypass so that you can run straight water. The reason we have two chemilizers here, this setup, this is the way our other greenhouse is too. Um, we have we have pretty basic water, which is not all that good for greenhousing. Our pH coming out of the well is a 6.5. That's not ideal. Um, most everything we grow, that's that's perfectly fine for vegetables they're all right with that but all of the flowers that we grow are not especially uh caliber coa and petunias which we do quite a few of they would rather their ph be about five five so we've got two chemilizers here and the first one well it comes out of the spigot, it runs through a filter and then the first chemilizer injects acid at a rate that reduces the pH down to uh, about a five. And then it goes and picks up fertilize and then goes wherever we um, are wanting it to. But I'm going to get a bypass around it so we can run straight water for water and vegetables or we're just needing to mix pot and soil. And then we're gonna come out and we're gonna have a series of manifolds with shutoffs. You can see my pile of parts there going to this black hose that will be going overhead and then i'm going to leave some options for hooking up some stuff on the floor for when we grow mums because we used to grow mums on the floor in here as well so anyway i'm gonna get with it Anytime I can, I always prefer to glue up PVC on a good flat surface or at least semi-flat surface. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have any other option other than to glue it in midair. 
and I found that if you put these your glue and your primer put the lids on with a pair of pliers that they seem to not dry out near as fast Alright, so I know somebody's going to ask about the whole correcting the pH of your water, what to use and how much to use, and I'm just learning this myself, but so I'm, I'm really not the most qualified to speak on the subject, but the very first step, no matter what you're doing, what you're growing, is send your water off and have it tested. Uh, here in North Carolina, we can send ours to NCDA and have it tested, but they're not always the fastest about turnaround time. And so, I, in the past, I have used Waters Laboratory. That's another good one. I think they've got labs across the country, but one of them's in Warsaw, North Carolina. And this particular time, I used J.R. Peters Laboratory. I think it's in Pennsylvania, maybe. Um, <clears throat> I figured J.R. Peters makes all the, like Jack's Professional, um, all of the fertilized, soluble fertilizer we use. So they're probably the greenhouse gurus. So I figured that would be a good place to have my water tested. So that's who I used. Um, it was 46 bucks, and that's how I came to find out what my pH and EC and all that of my water was. And once you know that, you can't really do much until you know that. But once you know that, uh, the University of New Hampshire has got an excellent tool online that is called ALK, CALC, A L K C A L C, maybe. If you type in ALK, CALC, even if you spell it wrong, it'll come up. But in order to use this tool, you need to know what the alkalinity of your water is, that's very important, and the pH. And if you know those two things, then uh, you can put that information into the ALK, CALC and it will tell you uh, based on what acid you want to use it'll tell you how much of it to add per gallon for your stock solution for your chemilizer um, we are using sulfuric acid which is just battery acid plain and simple battery acid you can buy it uh, relatively inexpensively from any auto parts store uh, but you can use citric acid, you can use nitric acid, uh, I believe sulfuric is one of the safer ones to use, I think nitric is a little more dangerous to mess with, but um, that's how I, I came to find out how much acid to add to my water. It's alive. I think it turned out pretty good. I might have to move it because hanging off the board like that, that's going to drive me crazy. It needs to be centered up on the plywood. But it's working. And as you can see, we've got a riser right here that's going to go up to a manifold of uh, poly pipe that'll go to our overhead irrigation. Uh, the pot drippers We've got an uh, option left open here for going to maybe mums or something in the future or table waters whatever we want it to and then this is water hose so you can see my chemilizer has blown a seal and it's dripping but uh, time and money time and money we'll fix it one day
but I'm just happy what I've got so far is working. And I was planning on trying to get the pot drippers put up today, but that's not gonna work out. I just ain't gonna have time. We're gonna have to change gears a little bit here and go work on overhead frost protection, strawberry irrigation. Uh, that probably be the next video. I'm gonna have to get on the stick with keeping the videos coming and getting this channel doing as well as possible because with TikTok more than likely fixing to be gone. It's gonna be a lot of content creators needing a place to go. I don't wanna get pushed out. But I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna try to get uh, our strawberry frost protection all geared up and ready to roll. And um, appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.